Welcome to another channel teaching video. Today we are going to be talking about the lack mentality and the scarcity mindset. But before we get started, I have to do a little housekeeping. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Rena Wells. I'm a medicine woman. I have all the psychic empathic abilities that we can have on this planet. Um, I also work very closely with ayahuasca, the divine feminine plant, the mother's master plant, the earth's master plant. If you would like to know any information, take a look down below. If you'd like to work one-on-one -on -one with me or come to a retreat or just have any other further inquiries about the services that I have, uh, please send an email. And again, please take a look down below. Okay, we're going to get started. I did start recording this, but it stopped recording. <laughs> So, we're going to start again. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. The like really helps other twin flames too. So please be a part of that movement to help bring these messages to others that are really suffering in their union and in their evolution process. Okay. Spirit is bringing up that the last 500 years... Humanity has been placed into a container of lack mentality and a scarcity mindset. And the reason for this, Spirit is bringing up that we had to fall in consciousness. Thank you. And Spirit is saying that everyone that has come here ha is of a pure divine soul. Now, if you're having trouble with that concept that we are all born completely pure, and you struggle with what's happened to other individuals who are mean and narcissistic or siphon your energy, energy vampires, I would highly suggest listening to the video that I created last week on impasse and narcissism. It will, it will give a very deep understanding, Spirit is saying, in regards to how codes and the grid work on the planet work so that you can understand the energy exchanges and how energy actually moves in our 3D world from an energy perspective. So I'm, I'm bringing this up as well as where it wants me to just reiterate that, that that's my ability is that I'm able to see very fine tune how energies work. It is uh, energy discernment of Christ consciousness that most of us are trying to learn in regards to escaping the emotional realm and spirit is bringing this up because humanity is stuck in this container of the emotional realm and we're not using our energy systems properly and how they were intended remember spirit is bringing up that we have fallen in consciousness from other realms from many different um, places of existence thank you from all the one that is, I, the I am that I am, we did come from there, but we have been on such a journey that we have made many pit stops along the way, Spirit is saying. And so for us to fall into this 3D existence, thank you, Spirit is bringing up that there are many other pieces of you that are in other places of existence this is why we have past life memories this is why we have uh, metaphors or symbolic ascended uh, masters such as they're bringing up you know Athena Greek gods and um, different mystical things that happen that come as an example spirit is saying that is because in another state of consciousness in another realm you did have these experiences okay that the universe is so vast that it's not just this 3D existence. And we are here, thank you, Spirit is saying that we fell in consciousness to come to this 3D place of existence in such a veiled container because it was to recognize, to bring in this high vibration of Christ consciousness, of masculine energy, the creator force to ground it into such a deep 3D place of existence in the mother in the womb of the mother in the planet so that we can also experience the mysticism 
that is throughout the entire universe, that the 3D existence has been a complete split of illusion so that we feel completely separate, our bodies feel separate from everybody else, our perspectives feel different from everybody else. And Spirit says that when we get into a place of enlightenment, many people on the planet are hitting a place of enlightenment, but the ego is stopping many of us from stopping us from stating that we are already enlightened beings. Okay, the new age community spirit is bringing up that we like to think that there is a state of enlightenment that we're actually getting to. And this is the trap of the new age community. Spirit is saying that we already are enlightened beings. And what we are here to do is to merge all these other states of consciousness and knowing of our soul's path and our existence of where we've been in other places of existence in order to formulate your true soul identity as masters of walking upon the earth. And this is why Jesus came. This is why Buddha came. This is why our ascended masters have walked here. <clears throat> okay, they're bringing up because they led the way of the magical realm of the mysticism. And it is a place to forgo the mind, but to use the mind as proper discernment of energy. Okay, they're now bringing up, uh, you know, when you smash a, a hologram, if you take, and this is a scientific proof that they want to bring in, if you take a holographic image and you take a hammer to it and smash it, and then you place a piece of that hologram under a microscope, you will not see a sliver of the whole. You will not see a piece of that entire image before you smashed it. Instead, what you're going to see under the microscope is the entire image. Now, how is that possible, right? That is a, a mind warping thing in our mysticism, in the mystical world. Thank you, that quantum physics is still trying to explain because the deeper you go into quantum mechanics and quantum physics, they're bringing up the teachings of a lot of Stephen Hawking. I love Stephen Hawking. I love all this science stuff too, guys. I'm very scientific as well, but um, more in the quantum field, that the deeper that you go into string theory and uh, ulterior states of consciousness and how they uh, different, attach to different dimensions, Spirit is bringing up the how atoms are able to exist in two places at once, uh, that the deeper you go into quantum physics, the stranger it becomes because it's based on the observer, okay? Now, if you don't know the work of Greg Braden, um, and Alan Wolf is what they're bringing up. I would highly suggest looking into some of their work. Okay, but Spirit is bringing this up because they want you to recognize that when this piece of your soul that incarnated into this vessel, it is a split of the entire hologram, but you still contain the entire divinity inside of you. It's a very similar analogy that they're bringing up. And so, thank you. They're, they're also bringing up the last video to understand where you're at on your path is to know how much healing that is left to do. And now they're bringing up the container for the last 500 years on the planet, created a container to, thank you, build up this economy, the industrial era, the technology. Uh, and it's almost like this container that we're breaking out of because they're showing me if you can take all of humanity and the system that we live in, the matrix, and the constructs that we have built, and the society, and the culture, and all the different religions, and everything that we have experienced to this point over the last 500 years they're bringing up, put that all into a big box. And if you can visualize this, and put this all into like this entire box. Now, in this box, it's like we're creating a simulation of what we're living in consistently because we are such powerful creators here, okay? And outside of that box, there's like the Garden of Eden, Spirit is saying. It's like we're all seeking something deep within us of this mystical realm. And yet it's just, you know, outside of this box. And there's like in the box, they're showing me like this one little doorway that Jesus created, you know, the way of Jesus and Mary Magdalene of Twin Flames, you know, that they opened up this one little door. And in that little door, you know, it's a very small few that are moving through. So Spirit wants us to recognize that we are moving through this doorway. And this doorway is getting bigger. 
But in order to demolish this entire container that we have created was to create a sense of lack because spirit is saying contrast is needed to know divinity you we must all walk through some form of suffering to know what true alignment feels like and this is where a lot of us are struggling spirit is saying the psychosis uh, the psychological aspects in our world that we've created in our mental health industry, um, things that we have vamped as crazy or hallucinations or hearing voices, there's something wrong with us. There's such a stigma that this mental illness that we categorize, we have a, a checklist, right? And if you go to any type of uh, counseling or any type of psychologist or psychiatrist or you go into that you know for medication or antidepressants or anything like that there is a checklist you know and for highly sensitive beings we have to be very careful well do you hear voices well i don't know if i should say that to this person you know um the spirit is bringing up that it's a very restrictive uh in this container in regards to mysticism in regards to magic right and the reason for that is because we have to put the pressure on us so hard to want to seek the creator force energy, the father energy, the Christ consciousness of that small doorway that's opening up. And this is why twin flames are here is because they are magical, right? You've been in uh, activation with your twin. You know that it is beyond anything that you've ever had. You know that there's, uh, you have to die in order to meet God in that way in this 3D existence. And it's a perfect way for twins to come and activate this mystical realm because uh, thank you spirit is saying that we haven't been able to do this very much with twin flames because the energy grid lines haven't allowed safety for twins, right? That people are afraid of this love. People think it's psychotic <laughs> because thank you spirit is bringing up how we treat mental health and what we how we view magic and mysticism and spirits also bring up you know my experience with other shamans as well in the medicine community it's you know even though there are amazing shamans that are out there doing this great work the mysticism aspect is that a lot of them don't have the grasp onto this because of the last 500 years because of colonialism and because of all the fighting and because of this the, the race thing and all of these things that are happening on the planet to separate humanity right mysticism got completely lost in that container as well and so granted there are amazing medicine people on this path amazing shamans amazing ayahuasqueros however what's being lost is that mystical point there are certain ones that are starting to open that door, Spirit is saying, and it's going to continue in, in the evolution process. And the reason for that, Spirit is saying, why a lot of us are struggling with the mysticism is because we don't want to lose the mind, right? But in order to move into the mystical aspects, to leave scarcity mindset, and to leave lack of mentality away uh, to leave that to the to the old world because we're moving into a new earth spirit is saying we're going to have to lose the mind another bring up my twin flame experience i completely lost my mind okay uh <laughs> it was very difficult to integrate that type of magic um Again, I, I, I talk about this because spirit brings me through to talk about my experience because it's very important that the level of mysticism that he and I experienced, um, thank you, the unity and the formation of that unity is something thank you, that many have not experienced on this planet, including other twin flames is what I'm being told. Um, and the reason for that is because Thank you. Oh, Spirit's just going to touch my heart right now. <laughs> the purity of what he and I have gone through and the darkness that we've gone through, that we have continuously stayed so humble within ourselves that he and I both never felt truly 
good enough and that we can continuously settled and spirit is bringing that up that energy up for other twins that are listening to this that that is the core wound of twin flames and it has to be that way okay and then and spirit is saying it's not like that everybody has that core wound of lack and not being worthy but it's at a different place with twin flames it's because of the mysticism of the connection thank you spirit is saying they want you to recognize that other people that are are not necessarily on a twin flame journey now everybody has a twin spirit is saying everybody has a divine counterpart to be here but there are leaders right now that are leading the way out of that container and these are the ones that thank you thank you spirit that spirit is separating right now so that we can understand logically in the mind that yes everybody here has a divine counterpart so they're they're taking me to one to one set um of twins of humanity people that may not be necessarily coming into union with their twin in this lifetime uh their spirit thing is definitely a possibility again it's because of free will and they're also bringing up the contracts that you made in this lifetime so it's a very complicated process that not everybody is going to come into union with their twin because it depends on their journey and the depth of healing that they have so these groups of people spirit is saying that activation thank you was acting as a catalyst for them to do work in other frequencies and to match with soulmates Thank you, Spirit, in order to hold down the collective at a certain frequency, okay? Now, the other ones, the twins that are opening the story, that are walking through the door of Jesus and Mary Magdalene, okay, who are bringing in the mysticism, is to bring in this, these higher codes to ground that for the rest of humanity. Now, Spirit is saying, this is not, again, a, a good or a bad thing okay it's not someone these ones that are leading the way are better than everybody else we have to get rid of that ego everybody is needed and to know their place okay the ones that are grounding the energies that have met their twins but are now in other soulmate connections or are uh, still in the deeper place of healing thank you spirit wants to really make this very clear right now Thank you. Or for the future generations to come and they have to hold down this grid work and the codes that they release in their healing. Thank you. And they're saying that a lot of this is in the new age community, right? That that is needed to enforce deeper healing in that set of collective. Now, the ones that are really coming into the mysticism piece, okay? They're doing it in a different way to show the way into the door of mysticism. Thank you. For those that are ready to move from one, from the, const the constraints, from the other, thank you, the ones that are working with soulmates and, and other types of, uh, right, the ones that I just talked about to move into the doorway of mysticism. Thank you. <coughs> Sorry, the messages are a little scattered and they bring through so much so I, I have to just sort it out okay thank you and spirit is saying this is where the lack mentality comes from thank you and so within the container that we've created over the last 500 years spirit is now dividing the the group of the collective of humanity in in that container now into two parts saying that there is a bridge that is happening between the ones that are still doing deep healing, thank you, and the new leaders of this earth that are moving into union and moving into the new earth and moving into through the door of mysticism. Thank you. Spirit is saying they are completed their healing. Okay, so thank you. <clears throat> Okay, so they're bringing up like my path and, and my healing and they want me to talk about about this. Uh, thank you. Spirit is bringing up a, a, a retreat that I had gone to during an ayahuasca retreat. And um, it was a very heavy ceremony and everybody was healing and purging. And I was feeling like completely fine. And when I was speaking to uh, the heal, there was a, a another medicine person there and whatever else. We had private sessions. They could not believe... Thank you, Spirit is saying that I had nothing left to heal. They're like, nothing's coming up for her, like she's okay. And and they were actually in shock. The Spirit is saying there are a lot of 
twins that are at this point, that they're completely done with their healing, very close, that they're in an integration process. And so this is very important, Spirit is saying, because they are the leaders that are opening the door of mysticism to break all of those psychological bonds that those in the collective are still healing, still purging, so that it brings the medicine into, thank you, it's like a bridge that forms between the two groups so they can bring in those high codes of healing to heal the psychological aspects to gradually Thank you, Spirit, to gradually show these other, uh, thank you, these other twin flames, thank you, and how to move into the mysticism instead of getting consistently trapped in the psychological aspects. And as we do that, Spirit is saying we're moving the rest of the collective up. Now, the support system still needs to be there for those that are not coming into union right now that are still in a deep healing process so you'll know where you fit depending on how much healing you still have left to do and you you will know this right there are um oh my god there's a beautiful hawk or an eagle I, not an eagle it's got to be a hawk just flying by my window so thank you uh -uh. thank you ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> thank you spirit uh father creator father uh that's bringing through that message now um yeah, that the masculine energy is very much here uh, in regards to moving uh, others into the mysticism. And the spirit is saying that's going to take time and many incarnations, okay? And so the ones that are still having a vast amount of healing, the spirit says you're going to see even other twin flames that are still doing that. They may be in union, spirit is saying, but they're struggling very much so in regards to the healing process because they're still in the psychological loop. They have not been wanting to move into the mystical realm now some of them are going to be ready but this is why thank you spirit is saying me and my twin for instance and other twin flames that um i'm very sure of who they are um because they're in my tribe <laughs> to move into that mystical realm it's to finally break that one layer they're saying for the new leaders of this earth of the mystical realm is to break that final layer that uh of that's holding on to fear that you're crazy okay and uh it's the complete switch of moving out of not just from inside out spirit is say but also moving from mysticism energy signs synchronicity first without judgment now that's a, i know that's a hard i know that's hard because whenever manifests we, immediately the ego comes in and wants to rationalize it and spirit is saying this is why you've come in contact with your twin because the mind cannot wrap its its psychological rationale around this connection okay thank you spirit is saying a lot of twins that are in union right now are still trying to do that and this is where they're getting stuck in their healing because it's a complete surrender into this mystical realm thank you spirit is saying this is why i'm bringing through ayahuasca this is why people need to come and and not everyone can do ayahuasca i'm going to just say this you have to be called so please don't take this as you need to do this or this is your what you have to do you will know if ayahuasca is calling you okay again if you want more information uh contact me okay and all that info is down below but spirit is saying this is why they're bringing me to give this message is because ayahuasca the master plant of mother earth it is mother nature it is the earth speaking to you it is the womb of the mother speaking to you deeply in the healing of the psyche to merge thank you spirit saying to merge the psychological with the mysticism to understand that there's a whole different way of thinking about and knowing mysticism and what we have been conditioned thank you it's breaking out of the old collective and moving into the new okay thank you <clears throat> so we're going to get into the lack mentality piece because spirit wanted to bring that through in regards to <sighs> moving from those psychological concepts and now moving into the mysticism and what lack mentality thank you poverty consciousness lack mentality and what that really means <clears throat> okay so spirit is bringing through and showing me you know 
from the time that we are very young, at the age of two, the personality develops, which is, if again, they're saying, listen to the last teaching to understand this further, because I believe these teachings are built one on top of another, um, that when the personality develops, we have a choice to move from living from the inside out or from the outside in. It is the form of duality of the personality that creates the psyche in a two-year-old. This is why they we have the terrible twos, okay, even the terrible threes, <laughs> um, because it is a split in consciousness of duality and thank you and a form of operating in the psyche, okay. That was explained in the in the, the previous channel from last week, so again, go back and listen to that. I've linked to down below, and so. They're showing me the child and when the psyche completely breaks into a dualistic form of personality so that we are now acting from, when Spirit says, thank you, a personality is formed out of that split, okay? The way that we express ourselves, the way that we talk to other people, the way that our self-confidence, how we deal with shame, all of these different conditionings and feelings spirit is saying happens in that first break when we hit the terrible twos right because we are now moving from a unity consciousness from when we were in the womb from when we were born the pure light that new babies bring what happens is that we're then split with the personality because that's what happens and everyone has to go through that okay and whatever happens in those concepts that Thank you. We developed those concepts of lack, right? Depending on the family lineage that we have, you may have been raised in poverty, you may have been abused by family members, you may have been ridiculed. Uh, even if you grew up in a leave it to beaver or whatever, you want to, even that's not even a proper family to be, that's a proper family based on colonialism. But, um, I brought that up because somebody had told me that like, Oh, I don't have any family issues to heal. I, I had a leave it to beaver family and i would say um that's not normal either but um yeah so spirit's bringing that up because anything that how we were raised was very much made out of a lack of mentality based on um the last 500 years right so when that happens thank you spirit is saying that we've had certain coping mechanisms from that young of an age of what lack is so it's very important to go back into the fear that we have so if we're having um from that time from that point of two okay and i know some of you may not be able to remember that but spirit is saying it is the fear-based reactions that are happening in your life okay so spirit is saying the moment thank you the triggers of lack mentality okay and scarcity mindset the first reaction is usually anger defensive behavior and denial they're bringing up those three things okay avoidance is another one okay Th those four so if you're experiencing those four things in a in a reaction if somebody says something to you or something is happening manifesting in your physical world and you're having those reactions you're either avoiding it you're angry about it or you're defensive about it okay there's uh there's a sense of control that it's triggering that mindset okay so spirit is really trying to bring through that in order to break the scarcity mindset and they're saying a lot of it comes with abundance right how we view money in this world money is another form of exchange right but they want you to bring up those four points of the energy thank you whatever is manifesting in your world to recognize the energies is very important in moving into your healing process to move into the mysticism okay because those energies are going in the fear right the anger the defensiveness spirit says to match those vibrations and to take when that trigger comes up is not to like avoid it or to respond out of it it's to hold it to observe. Remember, we're moving into a complete state of ob observation in the emotional realm. And what we have all experienced in this world is that we are actually stuck in the emotional realm. We are not using the, the emotions in, as the compass. It is the compass. It is the GPS, okay, 
into the mysticism, into your psychic abilities, into your sensitive nature, into your third eye, into your soul's blueprint, into seeing as the father and the mother through your body starts with this, okay? Starts with feeling the vibration, even of the contrast, even of the darkness. And they're bringing up to be the observer that is a very important task. And this is why meditation and other practices are very important. No matter what you use, right, is to get you into a place of observation. It's very important to observe and not react or respond right away, but to completely just observe, right? And to sit with yourself with those emotions and to heal, right? If those emotions are very strong, you're still on that healing journey, right? When you move into the mystical realm, thank you, Spirit is saying, you don't have this emotional feeling place anymore. Not that you don't feel and not that you become narcissistic. Instead, you become such gr such a great practitioner of observation. Thank you. Spirit is, says that you become so well adapted to observing that you know when to act, when to respond in a very balanced, even kilter way, and that you are open to re receptivity to energies from the higher realms and integrating them at the same time because the emotional realm is not getting in the way, okay? Because you're having a discernment of what is happening with those emotions and you are recognizing the emotions that come into, into your world, okay? So they bring up an example, for instance, I was, you know, close friends with somebody he would constantly, you know, thank you, Spirit is saying, thank you. They want me to bring up that with this friend, I was very much in observation mode for a very long period of time. And I would let certain things slide because I knew that it wasn't my stuff, it was the other person's stuff, right? This is when you hit the mystical realm that you're trusting everything that comes, but you're shifting and sorting to keep your vibration pure, right? And Spirit is bringing this up, this example with this person that I knew is that, you know, I knew I had to keep my vibration clear. I could still engage with this individual. I could still hang out with this individual. I could still talk to this person and still work with them, right? However, thank you. I was in a constant state of observation. Now, I would notice when a def Thank you. Spirit is saying this is when you become a clear mirror for others. Okay. So Spirit is really bringing up that when you become a clear mirror, when you hit this observation point, you have a complete understanding and discernment of your emotional world, right? That means that you have hit another place in your psychic abilities and your intuitive empathic abilities that you're able to navigate very easily. And Spirit wants you to know you're not narcissistic. You're not anything because you're not having an emotional response to people that are trying to trigger that out of you. That's not narcissistic, okay? Spirit is saying that is high evolution, okay? You have evolved out of the emotional body, whereas a lot of us uh, that are still doing the brunt of their healing work and going very deep into that, right? This is why Spirit segregated the two groups into the first group. We'll call them group A, okay? Um, that are holding down the healing paradigm still for those. Spirit is bringing up that, um, yeah, we become clear mirrors for those that are still doing the healing so that they can still reflect and see where their healing still needs to be done. And a lot of empaths, when they move into this mystical realm, start to feel narcissistic, like, oh my God, like I'm not having an emotional response. What's wrong with me? Or I'm not feeling this anymore. Is there something wrong with me? And Spirit's saying, no. There's nothing wrong with you. It's because you have gained such a deep discernment of energy through observation that you know when to act, when not to act, that you're honoring your temple and your emotional world so much. Thank you. That you, thank you. Spirit is saying that you are now anchoring your higher self into your temple. Okay. That you don't act out of that emotional realm. That it seems narcissistic to those because, thank you, Spirit is saying, because they need the energy vampirism to feel something because they haven't completed the healing because they're still seeking for something outside of themselves. Thank you. So that being said, Spirit is bringing up this individual that was, you know, I was working with, we were talking back and forth that 
thank you i was able to observe and not take certain things on but what was happening was there was a buildup of energy because i became a clear mirror for this individual that i did not respond in emotional ways that this person was accustomed to receiving energy from outside of themselves okay this person was uh, able to get that from other individuals thank you from their family from their new age community whatever the case they were able to take that uh, elsewhere but with me instead it created such a clear mirror of narcissism for themselves that are reflected back in them that they deflected back onto me now there's a certain tipping point that those that are completely honoring themselves being that place of observation trusting the intuitive messages from spirit moving it through that mystical door right and and knowing that you know coming into union with your twin is going to be something in this life um knowing that uh even if it's not again we're not having expectation but we know that we're trusting the creator we're trusting spirit we know where we're moving we're in mission we've surrendered we're observing we've we've healed the majority right of our emotional body we're discerning energies now right if you guys need help with that hit me up okay because this is what i work with um and spirit is saying that that build up with people in your world when you become that clear mirror it builds up so much they deflect and they cut you off like spirit is saying i was like friends with this one for like for a long time that eventually this person thought that i was the narcissist and i'm like and that's why that's what happens with those that are walking in this mystical path is that thank you they're bringing up jesus was nailed to the cross right because they couldn't handle the collective at that time of consciousness could not handle that he was you know the son of god what makes him so important what makes him you know people have this you know they want to attack it right because they have lacked it within themselves and so they're bringing up this situation was when i started to feel the build-up this person then tried to state that you know i'm not acting a certain way or i'm not i'm not expressing myself in a certain way i immediately shut that down and said no you do not talk to me that way you do because i knew that that if i allowed that energy in the spirit says that would take me thank you you allow certain energies thank you spirit saying until you have that boundary within yourself and as an empath and as a highly sensitive being you know that you have a boundary that you've gone through enough trauma you've gone through enough suffering in your life that you're like no i can i can let things slide but when it hits this point when it hits this door within myself that is not a door that i give up because that is giving my power away okay spirit says once you stand up for yourself in that respect right that will cut the tie of those that are sucking your energy but again when we're walking this mystical path we have to get a hold of our scarcity mindset and our lack mentality. Again, they're bringing up those four points that I brought up to know where the healing still needs to happen in our scarcity mindset, where those vibrations are happening in our life. Okay, so they're bringing me back to this now. Anger. Okay, so look around in your life. This is this is about lack mentality. Okay, where are you angry in your life? that it's not how you wish okay they're bringing up you know i haven't been able to provide for my kids in a way of having a family unit you know i and they're bringing this up because you know i've always wanted a big family i wanted like five i remember my mom saying you know how many kids do you want i'm like i want five kids i want six kids and my mom's like are you insane <laughs> you know um but i did I, I had a vision and you know this came up through my deep healing it was repressed for a long time but uh in the last you know year this has really come through it's yeah I, i've always wanted to be in a big family and to have that for my children and it has just been with me and my kids and so this anger came up with me in the last you know as i was healing in the last year after i you know activated with my twin I was like, oh, I'm so angry. Like, they're so big now. Like, I'm not going to be able to give that to them. And, you know, I had to work through a lot of that to trust that, right, God is saying, I see all. Okay. And if you have the faith 
to let go of the psyche of the psychological implants that are keeping us from our power and to trust the messages that we're getting, to trust the gut knowing, to trust the intuition, to let things go and to surrender it to God, to the creator, right? This is your relationship with spirit, right? Nobody else can do this for you. Spirit is saying, I will bring that back to you completely every single time and to have faith in that. So I know I have faith that I will. I don't know how. I don't know why or how that I don't know. You know, I'm not in contact with my twin. I don't know how this is going to happen. But I know that at some point, even if it's not with my twin, my children will experience that either with their partners or that energy will be returned somehow that they will know that unit. They will know family. They will know what it's like to have, you know, support, um, because, you know, it's just been me, their father's not involved, right? That they will know one day what it's like to be with a partner who loves them, who's building a life with them, who wants a family unit. And even if that doesn't happen in my reality, spirit is saying, I have continuous faith in God that that they will have that experience because my wish was more for them to have that, right? Not for myself. Of course, I want that. <laughs> And spirit is saying that may come to me in another way it could be through the collective of, you know, people that I work with and, you know, in my membership group or people that I'm forming relationships and people that I help with, I don't know, but that sense of community and support will come back and spirit wants you to recognize that in your own path. Okay, so I'm using that as an example. So where are you angry about in your life and use that, that to alchemize your life to know to, the, to have a deep conversation with spirit with your creator and journal about these things this is where my scarcity mindset is i'm i'm angry about this where is that showing you the contrast into what you do want to create right where is that vibration moving you towards and can there be multiple ways to experience that? And if that's the case, to surrender that energy to spirit on a continuous basis, okay? Now they're saying the same thing with, you know, fear. What are you afraid about within yourself? You know, what is that fear holding you back? Because every time you have fear, the greater the fear, the bigger the abundance, right? Fear is completely there as the hurdle to know that it's it's actually trying to hold you back from your biggest uh, abundance your biggest uh, receptivity of what is allowed to come to you right so spirit is bringing that up as well the fear in your world you know i have a fear confronting this person what growth can you gain out of that in your spirit if you confront this person, if you come up to this person, if you speak your truth, if you're vulnerable with this person, right? What could come, What is the possibility of that contrast of what could be created? And if that doesn't happen, if your outcome doesn't happen of what you wish, spirit is saying, what healing does that do for you being able to speak your truth? Spirit is saying that when you face fear like that, there will be always a release for the uh, for an evolution process that will happen for you, but is to trust that that's on the other side of fear. Okay, so they're also bringing a black mentality in regards to avoidance. What do we avoid? And void in, avoidance and fear go both hand in hand, right? What do we avoid? What can come out of that? Okay, defensive behavior as well. Okay. So all of these things that are coming up, Spirit is saying, really sit with yourself because those are tying into the scarcity mindset, the lack of consciousness that we have based on what we've grown up with, right? And that ties into money, relationships. Those are the biggest ones, right? Your money, your relationships, your foundation, okay? These are the lower chakra spirits as that we're talking about our root chakra, which is our abundance, our roots to family, the groundedness, sac the sacral, which is our passion, our desires, uh, sex. Okay. They're saying, how do you view sex and intimacy with the creator? Is it dark? You know, are you playing into dark things? Now spirit is bringing it up. This is coming up. This came up in the last channel too with BDSM. 
I'm gonna be honest, guys, I played a lot in that stuff because I had a lot of sexual healing to go through. A lot, because I've had incest abuse in my life. Okay, so a lot of deep healing. And Spirit says, these things are in those paradigms, in those states of consciousness because it's needed. But as long as you are mindful when you're in it, right, you will gain awareness while you're in it. And the more that you continuously bring awareness and God force into those darker realms, the deeper your healing will be. Because when the more that we bring in the consciousness of God, creator, spirit says, I know a lot of people don't want to do this when you're playing in BDSM. How am I going to mix God and sex? Like, but spirit says, why are we afraid to bridge that even in the dark stuff that we play in? Okay, Spirit is saying when you allow the light to come into the darkest places, it may start off as small, but it will grow and it will expand to the point that it will break those types of behaviors. It will break addictions. It will break uh, behaviors that have been so deeply rooted, perversion, incest, anything that you've been dealing with okay and they're, they're bringing this up especially the bdsm stuff okay because a lot of people in the matrix are stuck in that okay sex and intimacy have been so warped in this world and they're saying it it instigates a lack mentality okay especially if you're doing sex magic stuff and tantra spirit is saying a lot of these practitioners have no idea what they're actually doing okay because god thank you spirit is saying the holy, the heroes gamos, and the union of twin flames is to bring in that template of what sacred union is really about, because it's about creation force, it's to create healthy structures, it's to create light and love and peace and harmony and the movement of the merging of masculine and feminine energy. There's no darkness in that. There's no darkness or uh, dark. Yeah, there's just none, no, none of that in a twin flame connection. Okay. Spirit is saying, yes, there may be that one partner needs to heal sexually. But when you merge with your twin, those things will naturally burn away because twins are a flame. It's a fire. Those desires will start to fall completely away once you're with your twin. Okay. And when you come into a sacred union, that it's so much, thank you, Spirit is saying, the creation force has been so bastardized on our planet that we can't think, that we think we've put in this box around holiness, you know, and sex. And, uh, and I'm not sure why this is going into all of this with this teaching, but Spirit says it's very important as we're moving into the mystical realms that sex is a big part of it, a creation force. Thank you to burn away the darkness and to move into Christ consciousness. And like you bring up Jesus and Mary Magdalene um, and the blue flame of this high coding that's coming in and that. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Spirit. They're saying that a lot of, you know, what's happening in our New Age community. Yes, there are some tidbits of truth that when you manifest out with your partner, whoever you're with, with sex and, and orgasm and whatnot, you are bringing in those codes of God creator force. But Spirit wants you to recognize that it is a physical stimulus. Okay. Thank you. They're saying you can connect to somebody's energy but it's a soul to soul energy. It's a person to person energy. Okay. God does not come into that. Okay. It's an energy back and forth. It's not, it's not a connection to God source first to instigate the, the sexual union. Okay. So spirit really wants to bring this through clearly because the scarcity mindset, thank you. And the lack mentality when you're in a healing process in group a, Right? Even if you're dealing with Tantra sex and, and being intimate with the soulmates and things like that, Spirit is saying that it is a person to person, a soul to soul, an energy to energy. Okay? It's just a tidbit of creative force. It's, it's still a manipulated energy. Twin flames. What happens is it's so healing that all of those templates just naturally fall away. Thank you, Spirit. And these higher states of consciousness comes in that it's so heightening. Spirit says you would not even, you can't even imagine what it is because, thank you, Spirit is saying, it is the pulse of the mother, the waves, 
okay? If you can imagine the waves of, a, of the ocean crashing on the shore, the back, the pullback and the release and the pullback and the release, their spirit is bringing through that it is a complete kundalini type of energy that is recognized by the light mat force of lightning, of awakening, the masculine energy, okay? So showing me like a lightning bolt that hits the water, right? Boosh. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, powerful, right? So Spirit is showing these two uh, different contrasts and Spirit is saying the reason for this is because there's a bridge that's happening again and moving out of that lack mentality into pure abundance, okay? Which is everybody's birthright, And so spirit is saying this doorway with your twin flame, okay? And the deeper that we can heal those scarcity and lack mentality psychological implants of what's happening and to continuously work with those vibrations that I talked about, right? Those four vibrations and start healing those things. You will move closer into union with your twin, okay? Thank you that it will be naturally brought together by God and it will open the door into the mysticism because thank you spirit is saying because the healing is now complete you now move into those magical realms because you've left the emotional container you've healed the emotional realm you've become a complete observer of knowing how to keep your vibration clear the mind is at peace and it's balanced with the observation of the emotional world, which allows the third energy, which is the mysticism energy, to trust where you are being led. Your channel becomes very fine-tuned and very clear. And that is the doorway into the mystical world. Okay. Okay. I feel that is everything. <laughs> Um, yeah, that was, that was great. I'm going to go back and listen to this because it helps me as well. So again, thank you for listening, you guys. Don't forget to like and share this and please subscribe. And again, if you want to work with me or if you want to know more about the retreats that I run in Mexico, hit me up an email. All that info is down below and I'm sending you guys so much love. Take care. Bye.